Carmelos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. Ooh, okay, someone from your past. I just said that. Six of Cups. Boys to men also, this is someone who may feel young and vibrant or they're trying to get back to that type of energy here. The Eight of Cups, so someone could be walking away from a situation, definitely the Nine of Wands. I feel like you have the energy of someone who has... um been going through a lot in a situation and they're starting to see things totally different their perspective about a situation or a person place or thing is changing and someone is possibly leaving a situation or someone wants to come towards you this person the king of wands here wants to take action i feel that someone they feel like they've been this is a masculine boy this is a, a boy going to becoming a man not really a boy but this is someone who is ascending and it's a masculine energy this person is cutting through all of the illusions in their life and they are now manifesting because a cycle has ended or it's about to end yeah ace of, of wands you have someone you guys right now who is watching you they're monitoring you they want to pursue something with you whether it's a friendship a relationship a business partnership something like that this person has been blocked by a lot of illusions this person could be dealing with someone who is a fire sign or could be um a cancer but someone here is ending a cycle someone is going to end this year with a big bang that magician card is here yeah someone is tap someone is tapping into some tools and resources but the hermit is here someone is going within and oh this person is watching you <laughs> Oh, this person is really watching you. Someone has their eye on you for sure. Oh, here's the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this person is a little bit intimidated, though. They are. They're intimidated. This could be someone from your past or um, someone feels like... I feel like a person feels as though you you are established or the timing isn't right there's a blockage here let's look into that there's some this person their mind is telling them it may not be safe for them to pursue you right now because i don't know it, it could have something to do with your past this person one of you could have dated someone from the other's past it's it's something here that's kind of tricky while this person is hesitant to approach you but they're watching you they, they're they they're watching you they're monitoring you they see how you've grown yeah they see you you're blooming you're blossoming wherever you've been planted in life you're blooming and blossoming the seven of pentacles the nine of pentacles someone definitely can see that you're evolving you're growing you're maturing like your money is good okay um wow yeah somebody definitely has their eye on you but something here had to end somebody's going through a transformation they're possibly rebuilding you're definitely reconnecting with someone for some of you. Oh, the two of cups just popped out. The two, <laughs> the two of cups and the empress. Somebody really, really wants to pursue you. And I'm telling you, they see you as beautiful. They see you as like such a gift. Like this person, they're like, you're their good luck charm. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. So there's been some bumps in the road here. Whether with you and this person or just both of you individually. But this person wants to move on a peaceful, calm waters into a connection with you. You have the Two of Cups here and the freaking Lover's card. All right? And the Empress is here. I don't think that you see this person coming or you're not really interested in this person. Not right now anyway. Because there's something here that has someone blocked. Like, no, I really can't pursue that. Maybe someone is in a relationship. Maybe this person lives at a distance. Wow, but this this is something very, very, it has a lot of potential. I'm not going to lie to you. It has a lot of potential. And I feel that you are kind of in this energy like, listen, I've been through enough. The nine of wands here. I'm moving away from this situation. This could be someone from your past, though. And this person is like, listen, I'm coming in. I'm serious. Like, give me a shot. And you're like, absolutely not. This person is growing. They've ascended. They are watching you. They already know that they have to come towards you with the full package. Oh, my goodness. You're giving somebody a run for their money. Oh, my goodness. 
in that song he says you know pretend um come over here pretend like i'm the tree and you are the star you're all the present that i'll ever need oh my goodness who is this sweet talking person <laughs> <laughs> you're the star think about it you're the star on the top of the tree you're the only present i need this person's like you're all i need oh my goodness yo you i wish you could see i'm smiling so hard because this is so cute like somebody sees you as like you're the cherry on top you're the star on top of the tree you're the pretty angel sitting on top of the tree This person's like, you're my everything. <laughs> and I feel like nobody, oh, the lighter. No, so if there's been any kind of illusions here with the moon card that has been blocking this person from coming towards you, that path is being cleared. But also this person, they just can't spark a flame with anybody else. You're the star on top of the tree. You carry the light. You're the... Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at this. The Three of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. This person has been stuck or, bl or, or blinded or confused, juggling because of a family or a financial situation. What is this Ten of Pentacles? So somebody here could have gone through a divorce. Or they're going through a divorce. They could be letting you know this. Or you could be telling someone like, no, I'm not really. This could be someone that you connect with and you're like, no, I'm really not trying to be bothered with that. Because you're still legally married. Or you may know this person. Like there's significant other. It's something here. Something is very weird here. But I don't feel like it's really something that you need to be bothered with. Like this is very promising. Whatever this is, for some of you, this is your true light. This is your divine counterpart, twin flame, soulmate, whatever you want to call it. But this person, they feel like you're their destiny. You're the star on top of the tree. Mm. Tell me about this three of swords, ten of pentacles. The fool, yeah. This person is, they're leaving a family situation. They're leaving a family situation, a job, some type of outdated thinking. They're leaving all of that behind. Like, it's heartbreaking, but they're ready. I'm just wondering for some of you, though, like, how does... Is this someone new in your life or someone from the past? Is this like a... It's a secret admirer. Like, they're watching you. They're not letting you know how in love they are. Maybe they're waiting until the holidays. But is this someone that's around you currently? Or is this someone from your past coming back? Tell me about the Six of Cups. The Three of Wands. Okay. For some of you, this is someone that... Whether you want to admit it or not, you've been waiting on this person. Or it's sort of like you always kind of knew that there was something between you and this person. You always suspected that this person would come to you or come back to you. Like I said, for some of you, it's someone that's currently in your life. And it could be sort of like casual, like you and this person are friends, but you always have known that it was more there. Or this is someone from your past and they're coming back. Okay. But the three of wands is like waiting for your ships to come in. It's looking at the bigger picture. It's manifesting something here i feel like for some of you too and this is pretty specific um if this isn't someone like from your past past this is like a past life soulmate that you've manifested however when this person entered your life or you entered their life at some point it still it wasn't the right time so divine timing is a huge huge um is a huge factor here it's when you met this person it wasn't time for you to come together because maybe one of you needed to heal family issues or someone was in a family or, you know, having financial challenges. There was some type of blockage or delay here, but someone is like, I just cannot feel the way I feel about you with anybody else. The three of wands, though, is someone here who is hoping for growth and expansion. I feel like, though, you have already kind of grown and this masculine is now boys to men like 
man to king. This person is, I'm hearing, I just heard you speak to the king in me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you speak to the king in me. Who just said that? So you see, you see a lot of potential in this person. This could be someone that you're like friends with. That has been coming up a lot lately. Some of you, you have a friend who loves you. <laughs> Three of Wands. Tell me more, please. Three of Wands. The Hangman. Yep. Somebody finally got it. Somebody here is is awakening. And they're taking action. The page of wands. This person, this is exciting news coming towards you. Someone here is waking up to this connection. Or you're finally seeing like, you know, I think that that person actually likes me. If this is someone in your life right now, you're going to start seeing this person behave very differently. Yeah, someone is like, let's just cut through all the BS. Like, I like you. In fact, I love you. <laughs> I feel like somebody's just, I'm seeing like someone just blurt out like, listen, I think we should be married. And I don't know how close you are to this person. This is definitely a person coming towards you. Like, you know, I've thought about a lot. I've been, I'm hearing somebody, I'm hearing this right now. Somebody's like, I've been married before. You know, I've been with a lot of different people, but like, I just don't feel the way I feel for you with these other people. I feel like we should just, like, we should just be together. Let's just do it. This has, this is going to have you like, what? <laughs> What are you talking about? Knight of Swords. What is this person rushing in to say? Well, I mean, we just said that, but the moon is here. So look here. You see that the Ace of Wands. So for some reason, the Spirit is saying, read this backwards. You have the Ace of Wands and a Magician. So someone here is getting the spark. They're getting the confidence. Someone feels like they need to strike. Oh, the fire, you guys. Remember I said the, the lighter. Here it is. This is the fire. Oh my, is this person doing candle magic or fire magic trying to manifest you? <laughs> or somebody was doing that. Is this a masculine that's been doing uh, candle magic to manifest you? <laughs> oh my God. Maybe not, but someone here is very passionate. I'm just going to say... That may be someone's story, but someone is very passionate right now about their pursuit. I feel like someone needed to get their tools and resources together. Someone may have not been using all of their resources um, or they felt like they had to stay stuck in a situation. Maybe their resources were limited. I'm definitely getting some kind of codependent situation. But right now with the Ace of Wands, they're very passionate right now about putting an end to a situation this person is going from a boy to a man this person is actually growing and ascending and they now are about to go rushing towards you because here they're seeing the truth about this hidden path that has been blocked so there could have been someone that was doing some type of form of divination especially candle magic here that was keeping this person from seeing that they actually should be with you Everything happens for a reason, though. But this this is Seven of Wands. This is a woman. And here you see this magician card. This most likely is a female who has been doing candle magic or something here or sex magic. Okay, or both. To block this masculine. This masculine is like, no. Because now the illusion. Okay, thank you. The illusion is gone. It's gone now. This masculine can see you and another person very clearly. And they see exactly which path they should take. And only one of you can go. So you have some magic here that's over. A blockage that's being removed. This person, this king of wands, is now taking action. This person is walking away from whoever has been blocking their path. This person is saying, listen, this situation that I've been in, it doesn't serve me. Yeah, I'm here. We make money together. We have a family together, kids, business, or whatever. But this person wants to free themselves. I'm also getting to this masculine is seeing that you're freeing yourself from a lot of heartbreak from your past. And as a result, now you have moved into this Ten of Pentacles energy on your own because this person, they see you as the Empress. So this person is like, wow, like you're you're really growing and healing. So for some of you, this is like a, this could be a twin flame. And because you're growing and healing, the connection you have with this person it's um it's sparking something in them to do the same thing. 
So if you're leaving behind anything that is negative, low vibrational, toxic, karmic, whatever, they're doing the same thing. This mirroring energy has been coming out a lot. I like this. This is nice. Four of Pentacles, yeah. This person made a decision. They cannot let you go. And this person has also realized that the reason why there's been issues with them coming towards you is because they have someone around them that has been doing magic. So the person who's been doing the magic has been exposed. And this could definitely be someone that they are married to. Or that they live with for sure. This person is in between two different feminines. They're both here. This, this, there's a, there's a third part. There's a karmic energy here, and I don't think you're bothered with this, this situation at all. You're going to be very surprised. Like I do feel like you are going to get a phone call, a text, or something from a person. They could be committed to someone currently, but they're planning to come towards you because. There's some type of candle magic here that is over. It's not working. And this person, I guess like this love spell or whatever, it's not working. This person, they are 100% sure that you are their person. I like this so much because this person is seeing clearly where their heart truly is. Like they always knew, but something was being manipulated. Look at this, the Knight of Wands. This person could have been sort of a player with you. There's no kings out here. You have the knight of swords and the knight of wands. But here's the justice. So this person is realizing that, you know, the justice is all about cause and effect. It's things being balanced out. Someone here is realizing that, okay, the reason why they're not an emperor or a king is because they've been on this path with this person here who has been creating illusions for them to make them think that they're actually on the right path this person i feel is coming to the realization that they won't actually be a divine masculine until they're actually in their divine connection this person is only showing up as a knight of swords and a knight of wands you came out as the empress and like I said, this person is watching you like level up and they're like, wait a minute. I'm also getting to someone here has whoever this person is involved with, whether it's a friend, family member or a lover. Someone has told this person that you may be doing spell work or um, you're doing something here to affect this person in a way. And this person is watching you and they're like. If she was doing that, wouldn't she be receiving bad karma? Somebody is seeing that you're constantly leveling up and they're like, this doesn't make sense. There's no way she could be doing this. <laughs> There's no way. This person is concerned with the fact that they're not evolving into a king. That's why boys to men came out. Boys to men. And this person, they see you in this song. They see you as the star on the tree. They're like, I can't get to the top unless I'm with you. I will not get to the top unless I'm with you. So this cycle is being closed. This person wants to come in and celebrate with you. Yeah, they're juggling though. Or they've been juggling here. Juggling some type of third party situation here. This person has for sure been under some type of illusion, but... The Four of Wands is here. They see, oh my goodness, the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. This person really, I'm going to tell you. This person has been wanting to get out of a situation here. But there's rituals and magic being done that keeps this person stuck. For some of you, if this is your story, this is very specific. Some of you, you have a person that has absolutely been stuck because of spell work. This person knows that something is not right. This person is concerned about why they're not excelling in life. And it's because they have a person that's doing rituals and magic and sex magic to keep them from actually growing and evolving. They, this person doesn't feel accomplished. Somebody, this masculine is like, I don't know why I'm not accomplished yet. And it's causing issues and delays because they see you as the empress and they're like, I can't even get out of the situation that I'm in and go towards a person who embodies the energy of an empress, let alone you, because they're still in night energy. This person is coming into this realization that 
I have to level up. And it's something in my life, in my environment that is causing these issues. This person has been lied to about you as well. Or I feel like someone in their life has been lying to them about everyone. Someone in their life that they're close to, like I said, could be a friend, family member. Uh, for some, it's a sibling, somebody or, or their lover, wife, whatever, has been trying to make this person think that like they're for them and they're not. This could be an ex of this person's too. Yeah, five of wands. And here's the star. Somebody is like someone is secretly competing with you because they know. Y'all, look at this. The star and the emperor. This person knows that the only way that they can get to being an emperor, a divine masculine, is if they come to you. You have the anointing. You have the antidote. You have the blueprint. They have to come. You have the healing energy. It's something about you. You're their counterpart. And this person is like feeling very... I feel like this person at one point, maybe they felt a little bit defeated because they have this feminine that has been lying to them. This person, I feel, is choosing to fight back now. But there's a lot of... Something is going to happen very soon. This is drama. The Five of Wands, Five of Swords, and the Seven of Swords... Somebody is going to find out the truth about a lot of lies. There's a huge scandal that's going to be revealed. So someone is going to find out about this magic or manipulation that's being done behind the scenes. I feel like this message is just going to know like, okay, somebody is doing something. Yeah, here you have it. Somebody is doing picture magic. This is a lot of rituals. Somebody is doing picture magic, candle magic, jar magic. They're doing something here. To try and keep these two people apart. Like this person, this feminine here does not want this man to wake up and see who he is. And definitely does not want this person to see this divine feminine. Because if this person could stop being in this energy of juggling, which is being done by spell work, they will go straight towards happiness and wish fulfillment for some of you this person is going to quickly want to like this person may want to live with you i'm hearing somebody say i need to be in your skin and, and not in a sexual way this person they can't get enough of you and i'll be honest with you the the feeling that i'm getting from this emperor card is fear this person is afraid and now let me tell you this person is not that they're afraid What is this? How do I explain that? This person, they're afraid to lose any more time. This this isn't only about you. This person is looking and they're like, man, so much of my life has just been a sham, like a scheme. Like this, they're like, this is somebody's like, I could have had this all along. I don't know if you're gonna spend the holiday with this person. You could be getting to know this person and they're just like, they're looking at you like, wow, like I could have this. And the whole time I've been dealing with that. Somebody is, is reflecting like, what the, like, what have I been doing? Like somebody just woke up like, yeah, nine of pentacles. They're seeing your value, nine of pentacles. They're, your value here, you're completely self-sufficient and independent and you're a healer. You're a star. You're the star on top of their tree. Wow. This is... And it doesn't feel negative like codependency, but I will say it does feel like you're going to have to help this person a little bit. This person feels like, unfortunately, it feels like their spirit is broken down. Yeah, they've experienced a lot of endings. And they are trying to go through a rebirth and a renewal here. I feel like this person has been a little bit confused about things. Yeah, and they need they need they need nurturing. Oh man, I you know I I'll be honest with you. I, I feel bad. This doesn't feel like someone who is narcissistic. It doesn't. None of the cards out here are dark. The devil card hasn't come. And nothing out here is dark. This just feels like someone who is trapped. They feel like they don't have the resources, but somebody here has been under heavy spell work and manipulation. Somebody here does rituals on this, this masculine. 
And this person is not, I don't understand why, why am I not growing? Why am I not transforming? You know, and, and I feel like this person, they have options, but there is something about you. It's your love, your nurturing. It's you being very intuitive. I feel like you, um, I'm hearing you and you can anticipate people's needs. When this person comes to you, even for some of you, this could be a friend and you may talk to this person maybe a few times a year, but it's like every time you have a conversation, they leave and they're so enlightened about something. Or if you see this person and you deal with them, every time they come around you, they're, they're inspired by you to the point that they're a little bit intimidated, but something in them tells them that like, I deserve that person. I should be with that divine feminine or someone like that and they're looking at their life assessing and evaluating things and they're like wait a minute something here isn't right and i feel like all arrows are leading to whoever they've been with they're like this isn't this isn't just it's just not adding up they're like why am i constantly facing all of this doom and gloom in my life they're with the wrong person so someone is finally recognizing that yes, this this is a karmic situation. King of now look now the King of Pentacles is here and the King of Cups. This person will become a king when they put an end to this illusion or the confusion that they have about this other person. Now for some of you, this other person is in this Nine of Pentacles energy that they're dealing with. This other person could be very um, independent. This very alpha-like female has been coming out in the readings a lot. This other person could be a very, very powerful like manifester. She could, she could look good. She could make great money. She could be a very strong manifester. Unfortunately, she uses magic and manipulation though to control this, this masculine. I don't really feel like she wants this masculine to be her equal. This is really um, sickening to me and it's starting to piss me off right now because I'm hearing I'm hearing the things that this person says. I don't know what just happened when I touched this card. She does. She she has a problem with this man. It's almost like she's jealous of this man. And because I just thought about this man, he's coming out as a king of wands. OK, but this is because he's angry. Everything else, he's a knight. It's something about this man's ability to be a strong manifester. Um, I feel like he's very charismatic. He could be very, very attractive. Okay. Um, the King of Wands, he could be someone who um, he has some type of swag about himself. I feel like he's someone who's attractive. Okay. I. It seems like he's with someone who... Nine of Pentacles, she's an alpha female, but she she is actually intimidated by this man. She doesn't want this man to go out and be seen by other people. She's keeping a hold on this man for a reason, and she's using spell work to do it. Yeah, she's blocking this man from seeing anything. She's trying... She's trying to paint herself like she's a divine feminine and she's not. She may have money. She may look good, smell good, have money, be a manifester, but she manifests with money. I mean, she manifests money using magic and rituals, but she wants this man because this man, he's actually a divine masculine. He's a divine masculine who's in the energy of a knight right now because she's purposely not wanting his, like his power to come out. Because if he was to be in that divine masculine power, he would take charge and he would most likely leave her. She knows that. This reminds me of a reading I did before where, you know, this this man, he, he has all this potential. It's a lot of untapped power and potential that he has. He may have met this nine of pentacles person as a knight. And she wants him to stay that way because she's controlling him some way. She's controlling him. I don't know. She's brainwashing this man and doing a lot. I feel like this man's spirit has been broken down. And that's unfortunate. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. She puts burdens on this person on purpose. But this man feels like he's... Yeah, so that he cannot 
move forward. He's in a stalemate situation. And what she's really doing, she's controlling him somehow, some way with um, finances and security. These two people, they may live together. They work together. But it's something here about money. And you know, men especially. Yeah, she's giving him money. I feel like whenever he wants to leave, whenever he feels like this situation is way too stressful, she's a nine of pentacles. She's trying to own, operate, and control this man with money. She throws money at him. But see, that's because she's doing spell work to make sure that he doesn't become the king of pentacles. If he becomes the king of pentacles, he's going to actually be the king of, of cups who's going to pursue this queen of cups. This man is not able to love because he's not comfortable with his finances. Either this woman is giving him money or she's taking all of his money. But I, I kind of feel like, it, it, you know, this is the classic case of you meet some women who they look really good on the surface, but they're so insecure and all like she'll do anything to keep him. She'll create any kind of illusion so that he won't see that, oh, there is something better than me. But this man is, he's venturing out. He's exploring. When he talks to you or other women, he's like, there, there's real divine feminists out here. They, yeah, you got a nine of pentacles, but she, this nine of pentacles is not an empress. She's stable. She's secure. She's abundant. She could be attractive. She could have a luxurious life, but she's not an empress. She's not who this this person, who this actual divine masculine will see as wife, mother, you know, creator, fertile, abundant, healer. She she comes with money and that's it. She comes with money and the aesthetic. That's it. And this man, he's going from, from like boys to men. By Christmas, something here is going to be over. I feel like I feel like this lady is going to go like OD. She's going to go overboard with like Christmas gifts or something. And I, I see this man just sitting around just like, what the heck are you doing? Like, what are you doing? I just hear somebody like, what are you doing? He's not flattered or appeased by anything that she's offering. These people could be in a, like an on again, off again type situation. He's just like, I'm so tired of doing this. He's exhausted from being, fa yeah, a decision will be made. Justice, nine of cups. He wants emotional fulfillment, nine of cups. He wants to go towards someone who actually makes him happy, not just someone who looks like they are stable and secure. So this is more of like a superficial karmic type of relationship. I don't know for some of you it's different for some of you this man he supports this woman financially but for some of you this woman is actually supporting this man and you know you know things can happen over time these two people could could have been together for a while anything could have happened where you know at some point maybe he was taking care of her they were both you know doing things for the aesthetic and now to keep him, I feel like she's going overboard. I feel like this woman, she's she's about to buy so many Christmas gifts. Like, it's crazy. But it's like she's spending all of her money and doing everything. And I don't feel like this man really wants to sleep with her or anything. Ace of Wands, she's doing sex magic. I, the sex magic and whatever she's doing, it's, uh, it's working against her. It's like she's getting the opposite effect. So he's falling out of love with her. He's not attracted to her, and no, and so she's she's trying to overcompensate. There's a lot of um, codependency, and it's not working. Yeah, eight of wands, <laughs> eight of wands, eight of cups. This lady is love bombing him, but this man is like on his way to this divine feminine, and this other person knows that he's going towards this high priestess. She knows it. And I feel like she, I'm hearing, she constantly talks to a tarot reader to figure out what this person is doing. Yeah, she's paying a high priestess, a tarot reader or somebody, 
every single time she sees this masculine take any type of action she has someone that she talks to frequently about well what exactly is he doing and i feel like the communication she's getting is that he's going towards new love that's what that's the truth yeah whatever she's giving him he doesn't want it he's he will take whatever he had he'll take what he has from her to take it to somebody else this he do, he does not want to be there he wants to take his i'm here he wants to take his energy somewhere else this the, whoever he's with is not getting his energy <laughs> she's getting his presence and that's it yeah king of swords this man is so detached he is so detached in this connection with this other person. Ten of Swords. And I feel like he knows that this person is, is a liar. He knows that. He knows that this person has been deceitful and is trying to hold him back. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. She's invested a lot in being deceptive and trying to hold this man back. This is the same energy that's been coming up, though. The Page of Swords, Four of Swords. She's obsessed Whatever she's seeing him, she knows that something else or someone else can make him happy and that devastates her. She's obsessed. Yeah, because look, this masculine sees somebody else as their counterpart. Someone else who makes them happy, makes them feel like a child that they feel very safe with. But this person is doing things in the background. This person is seeing this divine feminine as like an actual earth angel, a real divine being that they want to go towards. And this is someone that you possibly have known because here you see this little girl and then you see this grown woman here. This person is seeing you grow, change, evolve. They're like, wow, she's just doing so well. He or she, that person is doing so well. And this person is now like they're trying to get control of their life and figure out what well, what exactly do I need to do to be able to take that make that person an offer. And I think spirit is telling them you need to get away from this 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 devil that you sleep with. <laughs> That's the truth, Ace of Swords. Wow. Okay. So let's just um get a few cards here. This is pretty simple. <laughs> You have a masculine out here who um, is realizing that they have been completely bamboozled by a material girl. This person is going is wanting to go towards a divine feminine. They're, they're, this person is saying their love can't be bought. Past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine time. Yeah, this is a past life connection for you. This person, they adore you. Boundaries. But you do have to have boundaries in this situation because this isn't something where you want it to be a third party situation here. Okay. This person, they want to get out of whatever situation they're in. They may be retreating very soon. Like this person, they need to get alone, focus on their own self care. Because I feel like this person is really trying to figure out where is their abundance. They, this person has been in denial. About the fact that they're dealing with someone in their life and there's not their person. Their person is here and now. And I feel like you're their person or the roles could be reversed. For some of you, you have a person in your life and you need to really see like that's your person. You keep on. Like I said, the roles could be reversed. For some of you, if the role is reversed from what I've been saying, you have a person in your life and you're trying to make connections work with other people. Your person is right there under your nose. Like they're in your life. <laughs> It's time for you to release what doesn't serve you. Release radical acceptance. And surrender can help you to let go. It's something here that you're needing to let go of. Like you're holding on to a person or an idea. And you're needing to just see like this, whatever it is, is very karmic. It's just not meant to be. So someone here is very much stuck on the idea of someone, their potential, the aesthetic of a relationship something being very superficial something based on you know money and things like that but your true love is sitting right there just like do you see me here yet wow somebody is really just i feel like i feel like um it's being split for me now i feel like there's a masculine who is a man 
who is fully aware that they need to get out of a situation to pursue their feminine. But I feel like there's a woman here. <laughs> there's actually, so if this is a situation between two people coming together, one of you is still like dating around looking because this other person is in a situation. Something is going to happen where the two of you are going to come together. I feel like I'm talking about two people who are coming together and you both are like looking outside of each other and it's like, hello, <laughs> have you not noticed yet that like the love of your life is right there? Like that's your person. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. You're like, yeah, you're, you're probably talking to this person like, yeah, you know, and I'm going out on a date with this person, blah, blah, blah. And this person is just like, yeah, so-and-so just bought me some new presents and da, 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 da. And the whole time it's like, have you two not realized that you're supposed to be together? <laughs> you keep on um, talking to this person about family, finances, life, and everything. And the two of you are supposed to be together. Wow. Wow, wow. Okay. <laughs> this is cute. This is so cute. Somebody, you're going to notice this very soon by Christmas. This coming, look, passion and abundance. Insane chemistry. You and this person, you have fun together. You have this crazy chemistry. You can laugh and talk and play like kids. And it's balance, okay? This is like your your person. Earlier, the, at the beginning here, we had the Two of Cups and the Lovers. This is divinely guided. You and this person are two earth angels and you're supposed to be together. You just need to get the wrong people out of your energy. <laughs> so the two of you can have abundance. So just keep a, a really positive mindset right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help but laugh. This is so cute and funny to me. It looks like a rom-com type of movie like And I just channeled this energy um, very similar a few days ago. And I was just like, you know, like the different movies that we've all seen, um, the classic movies where you're just, that you and this person, you and this person are fr your friends. I feel like this is someone you're friends with. And you may not talk all the time for some of you or some of you, this person is around you quite often. But I feel like you with this person, you talk to each other about other relationships. And it's kind of like, I'm here with like some of you made a deal like, you know, if neither one of us is married by the time we're a certain age, we might as well just be together. And I feel like you're pretty much at the age. <laughs> Where somebody's just going to look around like, you know what, this is my last Christmas doing this BS. I'm, I'm getting out of this situation. And you and this person, you're going to find each other. You're going to, look, I just shuffled the cards and abundance still came out. You can manifest, exact, you can have exactly what you want in life with this person. I mean, exactly. That's the reason why the two of you get each other so well. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I feel like you and this person, you just know. They, they know what you want, you know what they, and you probably have talked so bad about other relationships. <laughs> Well, you might as well just admit, like, I think we're supposed to be... Look, these two cards still came out. There is passion and abundance here. You and this person have a lot of chemistry. I'm seeing... Um, what's the name of that movie? Maybe not everyone has seen this movie, but the movie Brown Sugar. It's like it's just always been you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said this person... <laughs> Some of you, like, if you talk to this person about dating, I feel like they get jealous, but they're in a relationship with someone else. <laughs> they're like, what? You going on a date with somebody? You, I'm telling you, you and this person, you are you could be really close friends. And if you tell them you're going on a date with somebody else, they're just like, what? Going on a date with who? I'm seeing, like, this guy, if you go on a date, they call you afterwards, like, so how was it? Twin <laughs> and ascending this person is ascending they're growing boys to men this person is growing they're like oh okay I get it now oh 
my goodness, this is so cute. Yin and Yang, you and this person, you balance each other out. You compliment each other. I think you're opposites, though. They could be a fire sign. I'm getting fire and air. They could be a fire sign. They could be a Libra. They could have Libra highly aspected in the chart. They're all about balance and order. But for some reason, they can't see that their life is out of balance with this karmic person. <laughs> wow. Mm -mm -mm. I can hear somebody just like, you always telling me about my dates. What I feel like some of you, you like you are sassy with this person. You just like you can't tell that that person you're in a relationship. I don't think you like this part. Whoever this person is with, if you know them, you don't care for them. <laughs> I'm seeing some of you too. Like this person, they could do something with whoever their significant other is, or you may go on a date or something around like the Christmas holiday. Spirit is saying for some of you, this has already happened because some people are already having like Christmas parties and stuff like that. Somebody is going to go out or be at a gathering and they're just going to be like, you know what, F this. And they're going to come towards you or you're going to go towards this person. I'm seeing you guys like ditch your plans to do something else and come together. This is somebody's story. It's so freaking funny. I feel like if you and this person end up together, even if... It's not romantic, even if you're friends, because this is like, even if this is your friend, you're, you're going to support them through a breakup. Like, I see two people just sitting down, like, eating ice cream, just like, man, that date I went on was so terrible. And they're just like, yeah, I had to break up with so-and-so. <laughs> and you both are just like, okay, well, let's just both start the new year single. But I bet you and this person will end up being together because you're twin flames. <laughs> It's so funny <laughs> because I'm seeing this like I'm like what is the, at the beginning I'm like what is this with this lighter and this let it snow like what are you talking about spirit but now it makes perfect sense. <laughs> somebody's like I just nobody gets me like you like I just I just don't get that spark with anybody else and you and this person you act so goofy together I'm seeing it it's the cutest thing ever it's a past life love you're like children. You're just, you make each other so happy. <laughs> you guys, if, I, if you can see the stuff in my mind's eye right now, oh my goodness. I'm seeing two people just sitting back like. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm seeing you guys like cursing. I hear you cursing. Like, that's what I'm seeing. Like, man, F that. I'm not, I'm not doing it. Like, and I'm hearing both of you. It's like you're making a pack. This looks like a movie to me. You're like, man, let's both just be single this year. <laughs> let's both just be single. <laughs> Whole time you're talking to like your future spouse. <laughs> One more card, Spear. One more. Oh my goodness. And no negative cards have come out. You guys, this this deck has a lot of negative stuff. And nothing bad is coming out. Coffee cup. Look at that. It says meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. This is your friend. This is your friend. You're in love with your friend or your friend is in love with you. And then you have both. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. <laughs> you and your friend are moving on into being single if either of you are involved with anyone. And you're going, I feel like the two of you are ascending and you're going to soon realize if you don't know already that you're twin flames. You guys, you have the, the passion, the passion that the two of you have for one another. And the love is how the you can both manifest this abundance together. This person, like, they're just not going to get to a certain level in life without you. And I don't think you're... So, for a man, this man won't ever tap into wealth without this divine feminine. This divine feminine, you won't be loved by anybody else the way this man loves and adores you. Oh, my goodness. 
You guys, this is so cute. The bottom of the day, just surrender. Like, stop trying to act like you don't like this. Like, you love this person. <laughs> It says, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Yeah, you both are going to have to let go of... It's like you're running from each other. Why are y'all running from each other? Stop going out on dates. And this person needs to get out of this relationship. Look at what just fell out. Twin flames. Twin flames is out here twice. <laughs> surrender so your twin flame can come in. Please, your passion ignites. It says, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. You got it. The twin flame card came out twice. <laughs> I just want to see. I have a deck, my twin flame deck. I'm going to shuffle the deck, and I just want to see if the twin flames card comes out in that deck. Where is that deck? I haven't used that deck in a really long time. I keep bringing this up that when I first started, I used to only do love readings. And I feel like, I feel like the love readings are calling me back, you guys. I feel like the love readings are like, come on, do, do love, Tori. <laughs> you and this person have been separated. You're already connected in the 5D. You've been trying to focus on your own happiness. <laughs> you and this person. Why are the two of you so stubborn? Yes. Why are you so stubborn in your ego? This person is so in love with you. <laughs> I know my cheeks are so red. Like, I actually blush. I'm blushing right now because you and this person are so stinking cute. Oh, my goodness. I feel like, seriously, if somebody saw the two of you, they would just be like, these two. Oh my gosh. So let's just see what comes out. If this twin flame card comes out for the the third time in a, another deck. Okay, memories. Nostalgia. Reliving the past, let it go. Family. Vibration. I feel like um, with memories, family, and vibration coming out. I feel like you and this person are about to start ascending spiritually as many of us are. And you're going to start remembering that the two of you are a part of the same soul family. But you and this person, you could have definitely been married in a past life. This is a past life love. You're going to start remembering or somebody's going to have a dream very soon and be like, you know what? <laughs> I think we were married in a past life. This person may even say that to you. Like, I think we, we may have been married in a past life. Separation, yeah. You and this person were married in a past life. And something is about to happen where you're going to start remembering that. Let's just get a few cards. Let's see. Will twin flames come out? If it does, I'm going to just pass out. <laughs> Fifth dimension. So 5D is out here twice. So it is a spiritual connection. 100%. You and this person can telepathically communicate with each other. You're already connected on a soul level. Awakening here. Lessons and release. All three of these cards came out. So yeah, you and this person, you're releasing. Your fear, your anxiety, your learning lessons. Um, you're letting go of toxic situations. Something is about to take place soon, but you may for sure be together on a sacred journey by this summer. I swear, you and this person both are just going to be like, 2023, we both single. <laughs> but the thing about it is, if you really try to pursue your single life with this person, they don't like it. They're like, what do you mean you're going out on a date? Like, what do you mean? Who is that you're talking to? <laughs> observe i'm telling you this person they watch and observe you all the time like what do you mean if you put something on social media like oh date night i'm seeing like ootd like outfit of the day or date night like a post this person's like who who is she going out with where is she going <laughs> i'm telling you some of you this person is like a cock blocker i promise if you go out 
especially if they're no longer in their other relationship, they're going to start spending much more time with you. The day that they see you get dressed for a date, they're going to be like, oh, no. I promise they're going to be like, I don't think that person is good for you. <laughs> I don't think that person is good for you. Why do I see for some of you, like, you and this person living together, but it seems like you're roommates? Or there's something that could happen? Potential, okay? Cycles and sacred journey, yeah. You and this person have gone through a lot of cycles individually, but you're going to start recognizing that this connection has a lot of potential. Deception, yeah, because this person is wearing a mask. They're not saying how much they care about you because they're stuck in another situation right now. Let's see. Receive, and you have fertility here. Be open-minded about this. You have... Um, this could be something that's very, very fruitful and abundant. Rise above. So the Twin Flames card didn't come out. I'm going to stop here because I'm not going to shuffle the whole deck. Um, but I, I see the Twin Flames card here. It didn't come out. But your Twin Flame, one of you is unawakened to the fact that you're actually with your Twin Flame. Look, and you're mirroring each other. <laughs> So I'm not, it didn't pop out, but by the summer, something is going to, to change. These cards, they were all together. You have summer twin flames unawakened and mirroring. So you could have met this person in the summer, or maybe you've kind of been in this weird space since the summer, or this year by the summer, you're going to accomplish a really big goal together. Some of you, you and this person, you will be home, finding home within each other and you could possibly be living together by the summer of 2023 yeah and here's the hidden path remember the hidden path i was saying before this person's connection with someone else has had them so totally oblivious of the fact that like that's not even their person this person's just been unawakened but one of you is i feel like you may be a little bit more advanced in your spiritual journey and this person, they're watching you and they're like, wow, that person is doing so well. And they're stuck. Now they want to find out, like, what do they need to do? So it's sort of like friends becoming lovers. This person loves you, though. They really adore Like, they, they uh, respect you. They love you. They adore you. I feel like this person annoys you. I'm, get, I'm getting so much of that. You're just like, oh, my gosh. Because I feel like they really talk smack about you trying to date. They're like, why are you trying to date people? And I'm here. You you probably like. And why are you with that person you've been in a relationship with for so long? <laughs> so, do you think I can do better? Like, I mean, yeah. I mean, but you are better. You are better. You are the best for them. They're the best for you. <laughs> you and this person are so cute and stubborn. It is just sickening how cute this is. I'm so, I'm so happy to have channeled this. It's so cute, so sweet. But the Twin Flames card came out twice. And the Soulmates, um, the Two of Cups and the Lovers card with the Temperance here. And you guys, the Devil card did not come out in this reading. The Devil card didn't come out. I'm not getting like heavy. So the thing is, is there is a third party here, okay? But you guys, this is a third party that you know about. This isn't someone that you're in a relationship with or anything else like that. They're cheating. You know this person is in a relationship with someone else. But I'm going to tell you what's interesting is the other, the whoever they're in a relationship with, that person knows that they love you. I feel like everybody, <laughs> everybody knows that you and this person are like perfect for each other. And the two of you are like two kids, like, ew, no, I would never be with that person. It's that type of energy. But the truth is, is that you were married in a past life and you're perfect for each other. I think that right now there's probably, um, there's an imbalance here. It could be, you know, obviously it's just not equal give and take because one of you is definitely in a committed relationship. And I feel like this person because they're they've been blocked a little bit like they're fight, they're intimidated by you for some reason but they're so in love with you they're so in love with you i just don't know why they i, I feel like they have to know it 
But it's about to become very clear soon. Their heart is so loyal to you. It is. You and this person are going to be living together, all kinds of stuff. This person might get kicked out and be like, you know, can I sleep on your couch for a while? Watch you guys <laughs> start off like sleeping on the couch and end up married. <laughs> It's that I'm telling you, this is like a rom com in the making. So freaking cute. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna leave it here. I cannot stop smiling. This is so cute. Oh my god, it's so cute. This is like such a cute love story. I cannot wait for this to happen for whoever. So it's let it snow. Okay, another thing is for some of you, you you may have multiple people coming back because a lot of the masks, Mars has been in retrograde. So, I don't know when it goes direct, but a lot of masks, they are waking up. They're tapping into that divine masculine energy and they're seeing like, I'm in the wrong place and I need to get my life together and be the best that I can be. And I also need to go get my feminine. Some of you may have a lot of masculines who are still you know, someone energetically tied to you, they're going to start coming in, like trying to present themselves to you, trying to prove like, hey, I've gone from a spiritual boy to a man, like I'm more evolved now. But there is a particular person out here that you just kind of, you overlook this person because they're your friend and they're in a relationship with someone else. They're probably your person. A lot of you, you have absolutely already met the love of your life. <laughs> And it's like your homeboy, your homegirl, like that type. <laughs>